For babies and young children, we know that foods can be a choking hazard, especially as they're starting to explore foods and build their confidence with food in the mouth. Uh, choking can happen with any foods, but we know that firm foods, those with bones and small round foods can be more risky. Um, so in this video, we're going to outline some guidance on preparing and serving food safely to reduce the risk of choking. So firstly, just to say there are certain foods we should avoid entirely because they carry a higher risk of choking. That includes foods such as popcorn, chewing gum, marshmallows, jelly cubes, boiled sweets, nut butters served by themselves and ice cubes. Once children are developmentally ready, we can be introducing a range of soft finger foods to them. Finger foods should be squishable between your thumb and your forefinger, and they should be cut into a baton type shape, which is approximately the size of an adult index finger. We want to avoid offering any chunks or pieces when it comes to finger foods because this can increase the risk of choking. Some foods are naturally soft and therefore easily prepared into finger foods, so for example avocado, pineapple and melon, whereas other firmer texture foods may need some preparation first. So for example uh, carrots and apple you could grate and offer or you could lightly steam them in order to offer them as a soft finger food or mash them into a suitable texture. So small round fruits, uh, including things like grapes, cherry tomatoes and strawberries should be cut into quarters, so into four small pieces uh, to help reduce the risk of choking. Uh, the strawberry we're using in the video is quite large, so just to be on the safe side, we've actually halved each of the quarters again. Uh, it wouldn't be appropriate to um, offer things like strawberries whole or even cut in half because they're that kind of shape that increases the risk of choking. It's important to remove the skin of certain foods, particularly those with tougher skins such as cucumber and the skin of sausages. This is to make it easier for young children to swallow. The food should then be prepared in an appropriate finger food size piece for them. It's best to avoid offering whole dried fruits to babies under the age of one, including things like raisins, prunes and apricots. It's always best to cut them into small pieces and add them to another dish that you're offering baby to help protect their little teeth. So white bread, if not chewed properly, can form a doughy texture in the mouth and throat and make it very difficult to swallow. So it's always best to try toasting white bread first uh, or using brown bread instead. And just make sure that any breads, including things like chapatis and naan bread, are cut into narrow strips to make them more manageable. Whole and broken nuts aren't suitable for children under the age of five. However, they can be offered finely ground, finely chopped or flaked, and in the form of a smooth nut butter that will be added into other foods that children will be eating. And finally, with regards to meat and fish, be sure to remove any bones, skin and fatty bits to make it easier for little ones to manage, and cut meat into strips as thinly as possible.